when we're talking about trauma, we're actually talking about what's happening inside of the body in response to an event that is happening in the world. And so maybe some of you have heard of the four facets of the trauma response in the nervous system, fight, flight, freeze, and faint. And one of the things that Justin Michael Williams was talking about so powerfully was we've been sending love and light. Well, also we've been talking about the benefits of diversity for so long, and yet we are still in this place. Well, why is that, right? You can go to as many um, you know, diversity trainings in the workforce, and yet we're still in this place because the work that we are doing in circles of promoting diversity has to become embodied and it has to meet with the fact that at any given point in time, when I'm talking to someone who I perceive as being other than me, maybe on the outside, I think that I'm keeping it all together and I'm looking some kind of a way, but I am actively possibly having that fight, flight, freeze, or faint response inside of my body. And it is showing up in my behavior. It is showing up in my speech. We think we're fooling people, but we're actually not. And so I think that the future of diversity work is actually going to have to really incorporate much more mindfulness practices, embodied contemplative practices, so that people can you know, stop operating at this like surface cognitive level of like, we're gonna like talk the racism away, we're gonna talk the gender bias away, we're gonna talk the violence away, and we will actually start getting more into the felt states that arise inside of the body, inside of these conversations. And so really social justice is going to have to become embodied social justice. DEI is gonna have to become embodied DEI right? So that we can really make that contact at the somatic level of our experience with what's going on.